Hello and welcome to the paper theater. So in the footage you'll see that recently I was a part of an art show. So the I'm a member of this art collective called AFFA Studio. And recently we put on an art show at um at at the studio. <laughs> Either way, so we invited like uh, uh, people outside of the group as well to uh, participate. So it wasn't just AFFA Studio; it was um, like a bunch of local artists that came to participate and stuff. As well as you know, there was um, serving of like you could purchase uh, goodies to eat, stuff like that. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun. We also had live music, and all the music in this uh, video will be by the performer that is, you know, in the video. Um, I mostly, I had a couple of paintings in the show, but I mostly did man the snack table. That's basically what I did. Um, yeah. So it was a full day of art and everyone was welcome to come um some people sold stuff i didn't really sell any stuff but my stuff is um i work in oil so it takes and it, i'm a really slow painter so it takes me a long time so um what you'll see in the video is that there's um some art there that um, my friend angela francis does check her out she is the one who owns the studio and also, like, one of the leading, like, the founder of AFFA. You can find her on, like, Instagram, at AFFA Studio. I'll put links in the descriptions and stuff to the people. Oh, here comes my cat. Hello, cat. I'm glad you came to see me. So right now, I'm just doing a couple of little drawings of uh, Audrey Hepburn, who's over here, who I already started, and Marilyn Monroe, because um, my friend Angela Francis really uh, likes to paint. Like, she's an awesome portraiture painter. You should commission her to do your portrait, because she's amazing. Um, so she likes to paint... Um, female icons basically when she doesn't have inspiration from friends and clients and stuff so her favorite well so far the ones that I've seen her paint the most is Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn so that's why I am doing little drawings of them I know it doesn't really like look a whole lot like Audrey but um she's got a very like generic look to her <laughs> I find so I'm trying to do these real quick <laughs> not the fastest so they are they're gonna be a little rough I'll admit they will be rough gonna be some rough drawing today <laughs> you're gone quit hitting the camera <laughs> stop hitting the camera Stop it. <laughs> so here I'm just uh, doing my wrinkles. Anyways, the event was really good. Like, I had a lot of fun. And 
we made some mistakes because it was our first time doing it. But, you know, we can improve on that. Also, um, so, like I said, there was live performance. Uh, eraser. <laughs> my cat was on my eraser. So, we had live performers. And we also had demos. Like, I didn't get any footage of the demos because that involved, like, people's children. And I didn't want to be like, hey, are you okay if I post a pic video of your kid on the internet? Yeah. <laughs> so, Patty Chapman, who is the owner of Waxworks here in Barrie, is a lovely person, yes. But she also does encaustic. Um, not like traditional encaustic, but she um, she does um, more like a, a cheaper, more like environmentally friendly version of encaustic involving um, like crayons. Everyone remembers crayons your childhood where you just melt them down and you melt down those crayons so this is some of like patty stuff here Woo! sorry had to ditch a cat so this is patty stuff like with the wax so this is all crayon that's been melted with little irons and then there's like a little metal stylus to get like the thin marks Um, this is another one right there. Super cool. Should check her out too. Anyway, back to Marilyn. Ha ha ha. Never thought I'd say that in my life. I'm actually not a huge fan of either of these actresses, which is weird because I like old movies. I've never actually seen any of their films, which is very sad. I know. I know of them because they're such huge, like, icons, but my mom wasn't really into these ladies' films, I guess, so I never really saw any of them, because I used to watch old movies with my mom. I guess the uh, actor I like the most is Katherine Hepburn. Yeah, Katherine. Catherine is amazing. Anyway. Marilyn's arm is giving me some issues here. I did have quite the battle with uh, Aubrey's face. But like I said, she's got a very like round face. Like she doesn't have very strong features. Except for like her big eyes. And the picture I was referencing was a very small like black and white fit picture. But I really liked the pose her body was in. Because I didn't want her to just be, you know, standing there. Anyway. As you can tell, I really like all the little clothing lines. <laughs> it's one of my things. It's my jam. Anyway. Alright, let's get her hands going here. Hands are so hard, you can see how mangled this one is. It's mangled. But I am trying my best. Trying my best. When I was younger, I used to hide people's hands behind their back. No one ever had hands. Because they're just so hard. Because they're so articulate. You have so many bones in your hands. Same with your feet. You can see I kind of didn't really complete her feet. <laughs> oh, I'm such a cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Terrible. <laughs> Wow, it doesn't look like this hand's attached to her body at all. Like, look at how. <laughs> and that's just how hands go. That's how they work. Anyone ever says, God works in mysterious ways. I say, hands work in even more mysterious ways. Ask any artist. <laughs> just gonna move this over slightly so you can see me working on her... Uh, knee here. Oops. I'm using references. I always use references. 
I know some people are like, dude, I do it all by my mind. It's all my imagination. I'm like, no, I need a reference. I need to know what it looks like in reality. I have an awesome imagination, but it's not that good. <laughs> hmm. Something's going on with this the one leg. I have to fix it. As you can see, I'm kind of following the little like skeleton I built first. Just gives me a uh, kind of a reference point to keep it all in check, so I'm not flying off the handle. But as you can see, her legs are turning out to be like much longer than where I ended them on her little skeletal design thing. The hardest part will be putting her face in. I should start with the face. But, you know, some people say, don't start with the head. Other people say, yes, start with the head. Everyone has their own opinion. All right, I'm going to erase this one. Something got mangled there. I think it's because I missed a brain here. A more dramatic going on there. As you can tell, I did not pick typical images of these people. Not like really obvious ones where it's like, no matter how you do it, you're like, oh yeah, yeah that's Marilyn Monroe. Because she's wearing that white dress over that sewer grate. She's wearing like these stripy sandals. <laughs> Probably won't finish her feet off either. Look at like Aubrey's leg goes right through her. Alright, let's try to get the face in. At least with Marilyn Monroe, she's got that distinctive mole on the side of her face. Yeah. I forgot to mention that uh, AFFA Studio also does uh, classes. So there are painting classes. You can learn how to do... Hi, Shere Khan. How are you? Right when I'm trying to plug the business, of course. Anyway. I forgot to mention that AFFA Studio also does classes. So there's painting classes. You can also learn how to do the wax work. There are also kids classes that you can sign up for. So here's a look at some of the artwork that was at the show. Trying to do Marilyn Monroe's iconic hair. Do, 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 do. Really hard to try. Because it's got so many curves. There you go. amazing flyer that we made for our event. The Secret Garden Art Show and Tea Party. And there's the information. Woo! And it took place in 
berry. Okay, so I'm really sorry, but I didn't realize till the end that, um, yeah, that you couldn't see their the tops of their heads. So hopefully you can see them now. So there they are. There's Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe. Elder Bay, I'll surely die if I don't feel.